lighting and threat, which is poppycock. Okay, so there is no hostile alien threat. No. All right, now, if there is no hostile alien threat, how could these countries be convinced that there is? Because they have people out there on the moon, too. Well, you would think. You would think. Uh, the the level of deception is on such a scale that, that if you said, uh, why don't these other people in other countries who are in leadership roles know what uh, is going on, I would, I would tell you that there are plenty of people here in leadership roles that don't know the truth about what is going on. Okay, so that implies that we... People in NASA and JPL know the truth about what is going on. Do you think NASA is aware that there are colonies on the moon? Oh, yes, yes. Certainly. Uh, I told you about that book on lunar petrology that I had. The, the, the data in that book couldn't have been compiled by probes. Okay, so they know there's colonies on the moon. Why, then, would NASA want to keep that secret from us? For every reason in the world. They are working on agendas that are counter uh, to 95% of the people on Earth. Counter to the to these people's interests. All right, now... Maybe even their survival. I want to put you in the shoes of um, uh, people that are in charge of all of this secrecy. I want you to be in their shoes for a minute and describe for me to the best of your ability, why they think there is a hostile alien threat. Are you talking about the people at the very top? Whoever's in charge of it. They know there's no alien threat. So then what would be the purpose of fostering the idea that there is? Because it will help them to implement uh, a feudal system that will run the world to suit the elite. Do you think they're going to succeed with this, James? I know they're not. Well, that's hopeful. That sounds good. So... Uh, what is it that is going to stop them from succeeding with this? Well, either the people that are in the side, on the inside, and are against this, start making a move to do something about it and have the informed support of the, the populace when they do to stop this before it, it becomes something much worse than it has to become. All right, we have to step away for a break. We'll be back right after this. the wrong button here there we go now we've got mr horak back with us i suppose are you there james yes i'm here can okay. you hear me yeah i i just it's pilot error i pushed the wrong button to bring you back online and and instead brought a uh, dial tone online 
Okay, folks, uh, welcome back to the Kevin Smith Show. And those of you who are joining us just now in this second hour, welcome aboard. We're glad to have you. We're talking with James Horak this evening. And uh, what's under discussion, or what started our discussion, is a SOHO satellite photograph. That's the satellite that's aimed at the sun all the time. It looks directly into the sun. And it's a photograph that hit the Internet today. Okay? It is from Soho. And uh, there in this, in this photograph, there is uh, a small little dot right up next to the sun. And uh, what we did is we zoomed in on that and took a look at it and found a very interesting sight. It looks like a gigantic UFO, and it looks like it's got a beam of light or energy coming out of the bottom of the UFO, and it heads straight down towards the bottom of the picture. A very, very, very strange, strange photograph. Now, that's what has sparked our... um, discussion with James Horak this evening. That's what we've been talking about. And I want to invite you, if you have questions or if you have a um, comment that you'd like to make, I want to invite you to join us. Now, the way we do that is by telephone, all right? So if you have a question or a comment, we invite you to join us. And, uh, the, and, and that includes if you've never called us before. Now's a good time, don't you think? Uh, the telephone number, the main number, and it works from anywhere in the world, 623-444-5889. Toll free throughout the USA and Canada, 888-223-4599. Now, if you happen to live somewhere besides the USA, or Canada, you don't live in the USA and you don't live in Canada, you can send me a flash message, and you do that by going to my web page. Scroll down, you'll see a link that says flash message, and uh, we would be more than happy to take your thoughts and read them on the air and uh, try to answer those questions for you, okay? All right, let's go to the telephone, and uh, if I can make this work, Caller, you're live on the Kevin Smith Show. Your first name, and from where are you calling? Hi, this is Rex from Miami. Hi, Rex. Hi, right, so I've got a question. Okay. Um, have the people that are really in charge at the top been communicated with directly so that they know the severity of the situation, and have they been given a demonstration so they know what's at stake, so there's no question in their mind? what the consequences of their actions are? Good question. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, yes. Yes, uh, they uh, have had experience with EMVs. They know that you don't approach them. Uh, they know that, uh, that the ETs that they have had any contact with uh, revere them, respect them. And uh, uh, sometimes they'll coordinate with the EMVs, but they never approach them. Okay. Now, do they do they know the as far as the correlation between the uh, not starting their depopulation plans <clears throat> and what the EMVs are capable of? Do they understand that correlation? I hope they do now. Okay, thanks, Rex. I appreciate the call. All right, 623-444-5889. We have a flash message. Uh, let's see, uh, Bob in Australia, they don't want you or him to speak about this, Kevin, and they will go to any lengths to, to stop you. Yeah, uh, what you folks don't know is we have been oscillating between phone systems to keep James on the air. Um, so, and we may have to do some more of that. Okay, uh, 623-444-5889, or, 
Uh, toll free at 888-223-4599. Tony in Australia says, Kevin, 